start for finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Mm, it was worth a try. Jeez. What do you think a place like this costs? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? here. <sighs> nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack.
Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have... We <gasps> budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 <sighs> what the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> Huh, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. Hey, you recognize that one? Uh... I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. They're buried together. It's kind of dark. In like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> Uh, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Hey, check it out. Hot in there. Fertility totems. Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on. You know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Oh. My bad. Flintlock rifles? <sighs> I wonder if they still work. Whoa. Horns of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. 
Never got around to it, though. Jousting armor. Looks French. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? Must be something, right? <laughs> nice. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Go in alone. Check upstairs. A dragon gum. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. <sighs> hmm, it's locked. Hey, the air vent, up there. Are you ready? Polaroid. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I think it still works. Yeah, come here. Now smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it.
Up here. Hey, don't fall. See you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I'm in. Can you get the door open? Coding. Lots of painkillers. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something. <laughs> this is it. For that. What is he holding? Hey, 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 you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hmm. 
and at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh. Do you mind? <sighs> you knew our mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness... It... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman.
Sam, I got you. Just jump. The chimney. Come on. Come in. Looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Go slow. Okay. Nathan, uh, 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 all right? You there? Don't move. Run for it. This way. We can lose them. We got two on Freeze! God damn it! Down on the ground. Shit. Hands on your head. God damn it! Back this way! Go, go, go! I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she, she was, um, sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight... I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. 
So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him, You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. Love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got them. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Would you two be safe down there? You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're